Hello everybody and welcome back to another last episode. This is season 3, episode 12, Par of Young. Is this... What's her name? Claire? This is Claire. Holy shit. I thought it's time to stop feeling sorry for yourself and seize the day and... I can't think of anyone I would rather do some day seizing with. Aww. Yeah. Well, it's certainly not as infallible as the magical carvings on your stick. Hey, the <laughs> stick did get us to that station. Oh, the station which you've accidentally blew up. Well, if you'd have warned me that the basement was rigged with C4, I might have been a little more careful. True. Great. <clears throat> I waited for like 15 minutes for this episode to load and now again it stopped can't believe my internet is this bad i mean it's always been bad but not this bad you know it, it never really stopped netflix from from working i guess i shouldn't be surprised venezuela not bad eh? Not bad at all. Uh, <laughs> you lie. I was hoping you might want to join me in the hunt. Uh, no. Oh, well, thanks for the invite, but as you can see, we're just about to begin a picnic. Oh, no, he's going to die. He saw a vision or something. A better way to spend your day, Charlie. Can you get some nets? Nets for what, Barb? Nobody's talking to you. Nets for what? And then um, we're going to need to cut up some of this net. Charlie, can you go get some knives? Um, well, Charlie's going to die. Don't Charlie. kill baby Charlie. He's dead. Charlie. Yeah. That exactly made you an expert. Do you Just really have to like be a dick? My mother is in surgery. She's not dead. Right. She's totally dead. So she but he wouldn't remember you. He wouldn't know you. He wouldn't even know that you ever cared about him. Yeah. Poor French lady. Because I do not want to know the answers. Ouch. I mean, she's right. I wouldn't want to know if she's okay, if she's happy with these people that kidnapped her. I wouldn't want to know. Thank you. Poor French lady. He is a magnificent man. Ben? so magnificent, then why did he need one of us to save him? Ben. Ben is not. Oh. I will try to make this as simple as I can. You are not on the list because you are flawed. Because you are angry. Mm. And weak. And frightened. The more I learn about your people, the more I suspect you're not as omniscient as you'd have us believe. Because the John Locke I know was hey. perhaps. Look at this. She interrupted him when he was going to say something interesting. Over here. That's suspicious. That looks like an invisible. Um, What's the name of that? Fence? Like maybe you, you're gonna walk through that, but it's gonna be like electricity and you're gonna die? Will this work? Yes. Work. Oh, he understood that. Hmm? <laughs> Isn't she pregnant? Where's the belly? That's my mother's worst fear. Maybe she was high while she was driving. Seeing your mom like that must be really, really difficult. Her expenses have already been taken care of. The... the truck driver? I've been asked to keep that confidential. One... Two... Take it too long! What? Charlie. 
sorry. What's wrong with you? Look, I, I was shooting at a ball. I had no idea you were out here. He knows something. He no. saw something. Is he with you? He's back at the camp. Look, I'm really sorry. So it's right. just you? Ah, oh, it's just me. He oh, saw geez. something. In the exact same spot as we're setting our trap. What is it? Dum, 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 oh, dum. It. Don't even go near it. It's an invisible fence, what these and it's it's what do you think electricity, right? I'm right. I know it. Is he gonna sacrifice himself? John, John. Thank you. Guess not. John, you just killed him. That's exactly what he wanted. Oh my god. So it works. <laughs> what if they run past that room fast? We needed him. You never know when a little C4 might come in handy. Like now? What if you blow up? Hmm. Oh my god, lock! Fuck. Jack's dad, of course. She's not. I'm. Um, his daughter. I'm very sorry. Right? I shouldn't be. The one they were. I was just. Uh, leaving. Him with Anna Lucia. What are you doing here? I was just on my way out, Lindsay. Can... I'm your father, Claire. Oh, holy shit! Jack and Claire are fucking siblings. They don't know it. Ash. Great girl. I wouldn't. And he is out of your life forever because he died. How is that supposed to mean? It means that it now to the time her. to look at other alternatives, other ways to relieve her pain. Oh, no. It is illegal to turn off her machines, but I know of ways that can achieve the same effect without the legal consequences. Just stop it! But you didn't come here to help me. You came here to try and fix a mistake that you made. No, honey. <sighs> Do not keep your mother alive for the wrong reasons. Now, there is hope and there is guilt, and believe me, I know the difference. I understand his point. I totally understand his point. It's great seeing you again. When my grandpa was dying, like in like his last week, he was in a coma. This so I can tell the story. Um, in his last week, uh, he got into a coma. He was the whole time here because when they found the cancer, he was like 89 years old or something, and it was terminal. He had only two months to leave, which is why I came back to Venezuela because I wanted to see him. Um, when he was in a coma, I I told my mom because I saw him suffering so much while he was awake. Then. He wasn't awake anymore, and and I told my cousin because I couldn't really tell this to my uncles or my mom that that we sh we should that we should just kill him, not like painfully or anything, just like that typical injection that is legal in some countries, but here it's not, although a lot of other bullshit things are legal, that we should do that because he was just, he was just suffering, he was 
like clinging to life. He didn't want to die. My grandpa didn't want to die. He he was just trying to stay alive. Although many many times, like years ago, he would tell me, "Oh my God, I'm so old. When am I gonna die? I'm tired of this shit." But I don't know. He just didn't seem like he wanted to die in his last moments. So I told my my cousin that we know doctors, so we should ask them if they could do it. it never happened because a couple of days later he finally died. I was watching him, but it got like I watched him at, at night, and it it was like 5 a.m. So I was already tired, and I told my mom. I'm gonna go to sleep, and I, I gave her the baby thing, the baby like walkie. We had one just so we could hear him. I, I handed that to my mom, and I was like, "Okay, it's your turn now. I'm gonna take a shower to go to sleep." And as soon as I did that, he like died. My mom, my mom decided to stay in her room for a little longer, for like ten minutes. She was like, I'm "Not gonna go. Not gonna go. Good night." Leave him alone for a little bit. He's gonna be okay. I, I, I guess what I'm trying to say is that he was waiting for us to leave him so he could die in peace. He didn't want us to see him die. I don't know. He was in a coma. But I do think that he knew what was going on, and he was just waiting for me to leave his his room so he could die. But yeah, I I got to a point where I saw him suffering so much. I was like. We need to end this. He can't. He's not living. He's just a thing in a bed. He's not there anymore. So I understand Jack's father's point of view. I guess. Let's continue with the episode. See that spot over there? That's where Charlie's gonna die. That's where Charlie slipped and fell in. Oh, she's blonde, so it's been years. She kept her alive. Oh, it's been years. She kept her alive. That's not nice, you know. Now, I wish you weren't my mother, and I wish you were dead. So this is why she's keeping her alive. It's all my fault. You know, I'm not giving up on you either, Charlie. Oh. It's gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay. As long as Desmond keeps saving you. There are a lot of people. Thought they would all be the other island. They didn't have a bike. Are you serious? I have such a normal life. Let's jump. Sorry for getting a little emotional back there and as always I'm Sarah Miana and I'll see you in my next video. I am Peter Pan, I'll never be a man if you never wanna grow. Take my hand, I'll take you to Neverland. I am Peter